Here is the shelter we were going to stay at last night. I don't even know if that was a tenth of a mile. We just actually slept right down the hill down there at the creek. It was nowhere near as cold last night as uh, as uh, the night before. But uh, there's, there was not even any camping up here. The gut hook said there was a bunch of camping right up here by the trail to the shelter. Obviously nothing around here. So I think we made the right choice camping down there by the creek. And it was, like I said, nowhere near as cold. Um, went to bed at 7 o'clock again and probably slept till 6. And and just as a FYI, I was watching my some of my videos last night and I do realize that at the start of 99% of my videos so far, I said, all right, so I'm going to try and not do that anymore because it's kind of annoying saying the same thing in the beginning of every video. But we got eight miles to go today. Back to the car. We're going to go through boiling springs on the way and maybe grab a coffee and a bite to eat. And we'll see what happens. This is... We are at Center Point Knob, which is the original halfway point of the Appalachian Trail. Um, and there's actually a bit of a sunrise, or at least some sun to try and keep us warm. It's so way warmer today than yesterday. And if you were here, you can see a little bit of a view into the valley there between the trees. But, uh, no. Yeah. So far, it's been pretty nice. We had a nice steep uphill out of camp to warm us up, so that's always nice. Whatever I do, I'm not going to say all right at the beginning of this video. Because I filmed this shot already, and I said all right at the beginning, and I deleted it because that's making me angry. So we, <laughs> we basically are making it out of the woods and the mountains. And we're uh, finally getting to the beginning of the Cumberland Valley. Cumberland Valley is like a real flat part along the 18 southern Pennsylvania here. Where you're walking through farm fields for, I don't know, 14, 16 miles. We're obviously not going that far. We only have six miles left. But um, we're going to be coming out of the woods, walking through farm fields. Maybe grabbing some coffee at a little diner up here. A little uh, cafe up here in about two miles when we get to... Uh, um, uh, boiling springs. So here we are. Hey, look, I actually get to film us coming out of the woods into the wow, it smells definitely smells like farm field. So here we are starting the Cumberland. Oh, well, oh, no, I thought maybe that said Cumberland Valley. On it. So here we are. Oh, trekking pole strap. Here we are coming out of the woods. We've made it. There's a train going. All right. There's the direction we came from up there, from those hills up there. We were probably just over that ridge line where we camped last night. And this is Boiling Springs. It's actually a very cute little town. Little lake. And then there's a big mansion right here. This is where Cool Breeze said he's going to live. This house right here with the red door. Stopped in Boiling Springs for a quick snack at Cafe 101 in the middle of town. The place is popping for Sunday morning at... What time is it? Nine? A little after nine. Yeah, Sunday morning at nine. A ton of people in there eating breakfast. We, there's the parking lot. Matt's car, or Cool Breeze's car should be down there. And, uh, should be done with another fun weekend of backpacking. A little bit end of the fields here. End of the cornfields. Good time.